I'm Beth Bauer. I'm the newest member of the family co-author team for the book Grand Loving in its fifth edition. I joined this co-author team to not only help make revisions and expand the book to 325 pages, but also to include a chapter on technology, since that's now a very important piece in all of our lives, but in particular, it helps grandparents connect with grandkids in a much more efficient, timely way. Um, I also helped update the chapter on books and resources, so definitely check that out for reviews and recommendations from all three of us. Um, and don't forget that all three of us are moms and former teachers, so these recommendations come from our experience and from what we find has worked with our own kids, and so we hope that these ideas will work for you too. Hi, we are a mother and daughter team, author team, and there's actually a third member, my daughter-in-law, Julie Carlson, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today. She's taking care of our three grandsons in Philadelphia. But we thought you might like to know a little bit about what is in our new fifth edition of Grand Loving, Making Memories with Your Grandchildren. One of the most fun things is over 200 activities. And these are things that are fun and inexpensive. Our thrust is not on spending money, but on using what most grandparents have right in their own home, like spaghetti or spaghetti painting, or a photo that you might have of you and your grandchild. Paste it onto a cardboard, cut it out into puzzle pieces appropriate to the age of the child, pop it in an envelope, and send it off with the words, put this together, and see who loves and misses you. I have to interrupt, though. <laughs> That's not <laughs> unusual. Come on, Mom. <laughs> And I just have to say, before even getting to the activities, there's so much, much more involved in grand loving. And it's not a book that's tailored just to grandparents, but it has appeal for a much larger audience. And I can say this, having been an elementary teacher, I had picked the book up a few editions ago. I said, this is great. This is giving me lots of hints about what to expect at different age levels, as well as what kinds of activities work for them. So. I, th I found the book valuable then. And now that I'm a mom, I'm finding the, va the book valuable again, and even more in, in new and different ways. Um, there are tidbits on the child development. Um, and there are wonderful resources. Well, yes. Too. <laughs> and we've totally updated the resources. There are websites we share with you, and Beth did a whole new chapter on the books that she reviewed and tells you what age group it, they're good for and a little bit about the book. And she also did a whole new chapter on using social development and uh, social media and technology and how to stay in touch that way. Skyping, by the way, is our favorite. All right, <laughs> it's a great way to see and be there for the big moments and the everyday moments in your family's lives. Um, but that's not all, there's, there's also um, websites that work for grandparents, travel destinations where you can go with grandkids. Another um, thing we did with this edition that's new is we realized that there are so many boomers becoming grandparents today that they're busy people and moms <laughs> are busy people. So we thought let's give them some quick tips. And if you look at the end of each chapter, you'll find quick tips with some great fun answers and things to do. And that makes me think of holidays too. Holidays can be especially busy. So mm -hmm. there's a, a chapter devoted to that too. <laughs> Ways to make your holiday visits go And visits more back simply. and forth. Yeah. And it's about the most comprehensive book on family interaction and grandparenting that I think you'll find. And with three heads put together. So we hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Grand loving.